What is up, Kratics? Welcome back to the Galpedico Heist update. In this video, we'll be customizing a brand new trip feed vehicle, which is the Vapid Slam Truck. So this thing officially released today, January 21st, 2021, at about 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So $1.3 million price. Pretty cool looking. I think this is the first kind of tow truck we've officially been able to buy, GT Online, which is pretty sick. And it's customizable. It's a very cool... It's pretty much a toy, is what it is. So I already bought it. Here it is. Very crazy looking. A lot of people thought in the community it was going to be a Pegasus vehicle because of its size, but somehow Rockstar made it fit in the personal vehicle storage slots, which is pretty funny. Um, even though I can't even walk behind the damn thing, but <laughs> it is very cool looking for sure. Awesome. So for those of you who don't know what it is, is primarily based on a 1956 Ford COE 600 hauler. Primarily the one uh, owned by Susie Stutchel. Kind of like a custom flatbed kind of old style truck. A uh, very cool looking. I think they did a, a very good job with it. Um, and supposedly there's a good bit of customization too, which is very surprising for kind of like a utility vehicle. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. You can see it's in the utilities class there on the bottom right. Right on the D-pad to modify. What are we doing today? And there it goes. <laughs> Inside. Oh my gosh. Custom workshop. That is absolutely do? hilarious. At all? This thing is huge. <laughs> Alright. Armor. Brakes. Front bumpers. We got sweep bumper. I like the beam bumper. That's sick. T-bar. Blade. Ooh, the arrow bumper. Then all that I like. That's nice. Primary arrow. Power ram. Definitely the arrow bumper with the chrome. Love that. Engine. Kind of exhaust. Engine like. oh, exhaust on the side. Whoa. You can change it to there. That is sick. Oh my gosh. Pretty much like a semi truck. Uh, <laughs> uh hmm. So, it's either coming out of one side or uh, coming straight out the top, and there's different variations of that. I kind of like the, the tall exhaust. That's pretty sick. We got grill, we got secondary stock, mesh, barred, billet. Well, lots of different options here. Spacer. Hmm. That secondary stock is pretty sick. But at the same rate, the mesh grill. Oh, the secondary mesh grill, that's nice. So it's mesh, it, but what's this primary? Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. That's a tough choice. That really, that really is a tough choice. I think I'm going to go with the mesh grill. Let's go with the... Let's go primary for now. Normal mesh good. grill. Hood. So you got dart hood. So it adds a chrome accent on the middle. This one adds a chrome accent on the side. And then this one adds the Vapid logos on the side. Okay, pretty much the same hood, but with different uh, kind of trim and logos. Okay. Uh, I guess Maybe Vapid Mark II hood. That's nice with the Vapid logos on the side. We got horn. What kind of horn is this thing out of stock? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, a semi-truck horn. Yes. That, we're keeping that. That has to stay. Oh, that's very different from the uh, the truck horn. So you see the difference there. Not the same. All right. Lights. Stock. Comes with kind of like a yellow tone. Nice. We're going to keep that. Liveries. You got the tapered black stripe. Doesn't go down the center of the bed, which is kind of sad. I would have liked that. Okay. Vapid Motor Company. Okay, so these are all kind of focused on the cab. Diego's Garage. How many cars you got in this okay, it's got some logos back there. Okay. White pinstripe. That's sick. That's really nice. Kind of accents. All the storage panels on the side. Very nice. Glass Heroes, okay. 
what is this one have anything back here oh it's got like a logo back there look at that okay AI's auto stripes look at that it's got a stripe one all the way around that's pretty sick and it's got a logo back here if you can't really see too well there we go all right Estancia stripes wow there's 19 liveries jeez premier stripes there's a lot of good ones here Stronzo, that one's sick look at that so you can pretty much make this match like one of your personal vehicles but you can't have both of them out at the same time <laughs> so you have to have a friend help you out with that Benny's Benny's yeah you can't go wrong with Benny's that's a nice one Los Santos Customs? Oh my gosh. <laughs> One for every custom shop. <laughs> e. Cola. Look at that stripe back there. That's sick. Wow, Rockstar did a very good job with this. Black Flames. Can't go wrong with that either. Yes, yes. White Flames. Oh my gosh. Hustle Time. That one. That has to be the nicest one, in my opinion. Life is hard when you can have anything. That's that's the hustler livery, pretty much. But I kind of like the way they did. I like the stripe back here. I like how it says Haynes Auto Body Shop up there. That is very nice, and it's got some pinstriping, and it's got the stripes on the roof and matching the bed. That's that's sick. Total Ride Motors. That's another wow. This one's really nice. The checkered flag. Oh man, I like this one. This is if you can think it, <laughs> this is really I nice. Can do it. Oh, and then the last one is the douche livery. Hmm. Man, there's so many good ones. How do you pick from all of these? That's insane. Holy crap. I th man. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to stick with the hustler one. Hustle time livery on this. It looks so good. Making decisions I'm going to go with that one. All right. Mirrors? You can change the mirrors. Okay. Oh, so you got... Okay, kind of like traditional towing mirrors, and then you have vertical mirrors, chrome rounds, and then chrome overhang. The chrome overhang is sick. Obviously, these are you know these are the most practical, the stock mirrors, but it's a it's a game. So, I think the the chrome overhang is like a more like a cleaner Whatever look. You Looks pretty sick. Let's go with that. Plate. So it's is there only a plate on the front? Oh, see, see, this is this is first world problems right here. You can't see your plate on the back of your. <laughs> okay, well let's focus on the front. Um, I got a plate just for this. Where is it? I got, I got it. How many cars Where is it? America. Looks there we go. Perfect. <laughs> the black plate. Yes. Okay. Moving along, we have respray. Oh, what? So that's oh wow. So the primary color is that is sick. So it's like the top half of the cab. That is, and then it's also the trim around the whole. Th that is sick. I think we gotta make this black, kind of separate it a bit, then leave the secondary red. I think that will look awesome. Or white. Oh my! Now that. Yes, I think it has to be like that. The white with the white trim. That is sick. And then it matches our livery. I think that has to happen. Yes. Ice white. Don't Ice white it is. Pretty. And secondary, I think we're going to keep it red. But I think we should make it metallic red. Wow, that's a... Jeez. Alright, let's go to... Go to Cabernet Red, and then we're gonna go Your back to Primary, off. and I'm gonna throw a Torino Red so it transfers over to the Secondary. I go to Pearlescent, Torino Red. Do, do, do. Torino Red, where are you, Torino Red? There you are. Yes. Torino Red. So it transferred over. It looks a little a little darker than I'd like to be honest. Let me try the grace red really quick. Yeah, the grace red. 
That's a lot better. Yep. You've got an eye for this stuff. All right. Your crew emblem would go on the side of the door on both sides. Nice. Transmission. Turbo. Visors. Oh, look at that. That's sick. Yes. Slam Van has similar options to this, the custom one, but... Um, hmm. To be honest, I don't really like the visors too much. I feel it kind of changes the look of the front end. That kind of, like, windshield that's just straight down, just rakes straight down. I don't know. I Do think the sun visor kind of changes the look a bit. But in the red, it looks pretty sick. It kind of separates it. Hmm. I think... I'll, I'll do this one for now. I may, maybe I might change that later on, but I'll do that for now. Wheels, so you can you we can change the wheels on this? No way! Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? That is sick. Should we put white walls on this? <laughs> it's, I'm thinking definitely these, the low fives, but like in chrome. Let's see, low fives. Oh yes. Like oh yes, or maybe the Dukes because it has more like a deeper. Let's see how the white walls look, if it even lets us. What? The what? Eh, the white walls. There's like because there's already so much white around the fender. That it's just it's a little a little too much. I think I think without the white wall, that is that's sick though. I like that a lot. All right, windows. Does the back window tip too? If yes, it does. It, I can do it. Uh, I think limo tints it out, or should we be able to see the interior? Do uh, do, I guess dark smoke. All right, and there's no trim color that surprised me. So, the interior color is linked to your primary, for like the dash and all that. Okay, so that's all the options there. All right, let's uh, let's take it off for a drive. Exit to ground. See you next time. Oh boy, this thing looks crazy. I like the fact that you can really personalize it. Who would have ever thought you would be able to you'll be able to personalize a tow truck in GTA? Oh man! All right, let's go for it. Floor it. Lots of wheel spin as you expect from what is basically a. Slam van tow truck. <laughs> wow, this thing moves. This thing is fast. For being something this size, it it moves. Not bad. I mean it's it's going. The handling is absolutely awful as you might expect. It's tons of understeer. Brakes, 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 not existent. <laughs> that was full brakes. <laughs> So, <laughs> non-existent brakes. Can't break it. I guess it's kind of like a somewhat of a drift machine. Okay, <laughs> definitely something you could drift with. Go first person. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. This is awesome. I like this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Imagine rolling up to a car meet with this, and then I guess your friend's car in the back. Something you definitely have to plan out because unfortunately you cannot have them both out at the same time, which I guess would have made more sense as a Pegasus vehicle, because Pegasus vehicles you can have out at the same time as your personal vehicle. So I think if they could have figured out a way to kind of have the customization stick to this when you customize it and then keep it as a personal vehicle. I think that would have been better in that circumstance to be able to put your personal vehicle on it. Now, um, this is the same kind of story with the Wastelander. For those of you who had the Wastelander, the, that weird flatbed, um, off-road looking tow truck. Now that thing, that one, it, it you can't put any vehicle on the back and that's kind of the same story with this one. You cannot put... <laughs> Uh, any vehicle on the back. Now you can't put it, I'm not saying you, I'm, what I'm saying is it doesn't stick, <laughs> is the, the best thing I'm trying to say. So, you know, what they should have done was when you drive a vehicle on it, use an option to hit right on the D-pad and then it kind of locks it in place, but unfortunately, 
There isn't. It's just kind of sitting there. It's almost like if you try to put it on any random vehicle, it kind of just slides off um, eventually. So definitely something to keep in mind. It's it's more of like a decoration piece than it is actually uh, useful in that sense. Uh, let me try grabbing one of these cars here so you guys can see. Fudge. Over here. Thought he needed like a little bit of a, a little bit of a curb. See. That coquette freaked out. Ooh, that would look cooler on the back. Let's try the coquette. <laughs> you came in Tokyo Drift style, and I'm taking you out of your car. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, now the cops are coming to ruin the party. Oh, back it up. Reality sets in this GTA. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's do that. Now. Listen to the backup sound. <laughs> you know, let me tell you, it stays on there pretty good. But when you start turning is the is the issue. Yep, oh, there it goes. Reverse. Put it back. Nope, nope. Issues. Issues. When the cops are coming, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> let me park over here. My office thing loves to drift. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not even doing that. It's doing that by itself. <laughs> this is such a cool vehicle. Our right, vehicle doors. See? All right. Yes, we can see the engine bay. I'm not punching the engine bay character. What are you doing? There we go. <laughs> yes. I I don't know what that is. Oh, it's just kind of like set. So engine bay, you know, it's halfway into the cab. I get it. Kind of weird how they did it though. Doesn't look. Did the, what? Okay, that's not that's not designed very well. If you if you walk into the hood, it just flies off. Good to know. Okay, do the doors fly off too? Okay, the doors stay on. That's good. That's good. At least the door. <laughs> at least the doors stay on. Okay. Well then. Now, there's nothing special here in remote options that I can see. Headlights, radio, all the typical stuff. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Um, except for the glitchy hood. That's 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 definitely that's definitely weird. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this is an awesome vehicle, very quirky and fun vehicle to mess around with. I just love the fact that it drifts. You can put a vehicle on it for fun. Um, you just have to carefully drive to a location, trying to keep it on there as best you can. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.